Pure nostalgia bias to not playing other hitmans has led me to the conclusion that Blood Money is the best hitman. Anyone who's ever wanted to be a hitman will go bald with stress. From trying to obtain the physique to locating next to strangle with wire, there is quite the barrier of entry to joining the agency. At least there's a tutorial. In Hitman Clash, you start off by fighting gangsters. What the fuck you looking at, Kraken? <laughs> For some reason, Agent 47 can't steal their clothes to disguise himself. I thought he was a stealth savant. In the first real mission, a hitman gets invited to a party at a cartel leader's villa. This drug lord is so rich his wine cellar qualifies as a wine dungeon. It is booby trapped too. A pallet of barrels is suspended in the air by a rope, ready to crush the boss's spoiled pink shirt wearing son. Failure to time the smush properly switched the approach to the barbaric slaughter everyone playstyle. If your health bar runs out, a slow motion second chance is granted where you must catch enough bodies to live. Ah ah, don't get greedy. There is no third life. Try again. Turn the drug dealer's baby boy into wine. Infiltrate the mansion. And execute the musician moonlighting as a criminal kingpin. Exit out the window. Before leaving, don't forget to push the innocent handyman into the water. Also, the sleeping guard deserves to die too. Not bad. I am just a mischievous hoodlum who murdered eight people. The second hit is the most memorable one to me. At an opera house, Agent 47 uses his level 99 sleight of hand skills to pocket a gun out of a jacket pocket right in front of a guard pockets. Don't you want the jacket, sir? No, just needed something from one of the pockets. I'll pick it up later. Now go whoop a repairman too shy to piss with another man in the stall. Take his clothes and dispose of him in a conveniently located bathroom container. These events happen often in the hit, man, just with slight variations. You can say that about anything, man. That's just fucking life. Get over it. As for the targets, one is an actor. You could be a dummy about it by becoming his co-star to shoot him yourself on stage. In addition, providing audience interaction by shooting at the other target up in the balcony. No luck. Hide in the acting trigger man's dressing room and replace his prop gun with the authentic Iraq war pistol. Planting bombs occurs commonly as well. Though in this instance, I could never kill the theater lover with the explosion. Rather opting to snipe him from the catwalks. His sadness for losing his favorite actor gave him the power to absorb many bullets. Eventually, my silent silver mauler worked, ranking me as the cleaner. The third cleaning job involves rescuing Agent 47's cousin from a rehab facility. I was joined by fellow Black Legion Panzers. Is he playing it oh, silly man. or is he playing it as a silent assassin? Uh, he's trying. Dude, you got three people looking at you. What the fuck? Uh, there is a uh, dumpster at the. Yeah, right down there. Also, you can lure that guy out by hitting the um electrical panel. You just gonna backseat game me the whole time? No, I'm sorry. Once Agent Cuz is found, he takes some drugs to the neck that make him play dead. On to slaying those bounties. One of the guys is cheating on his rehabilitation by smuggling a bottle through the globe. Rightfully, he deserves the death sentence. Include the person who benched without a trustworthy spot or two. Oh, no, he's back in. He's back in. The guard's back in. Fuck Fuck it. He did see it. Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? <laughs> I showed the hitman master the secrets of this world. Yo, I've never been in this room before. What the hell? To finish up Ragdoll a third paycheck, lastly revive that drug addict by giving him his fix, achieve killer status. In the fourth dimension, you travel to a homeowner association prison. Greeted by the local sex offender, make sure to choke him and toss him in the open manhole. Obviously, the clown is the actual diddler. Pretend to be him for street cred. You're in the neighborhood to silence the snitch that's being protected by the FBI. Plus, you're supposed to steal an important microfilm that's stashed inside the household milf. After hitting man, I fled while being shot from behind. Right as I was about to escape, I died, but it's still registered as a victory, titling me a killer once more. On another run, I tried to do a sneaky hide the body play through till I knocked a corpse out of bounds. Level 5 made me think a mod slipped its way into my game when I saw the bird person, who must be stalked in a crowd of 5 people. They're just moving fast and changing hats. Gotta kill that bird and hope he doesn't sit up like the undertaker. Stuff that zombie in the dumpster. Unfortunately, I forgot to grab his suit. Irretrievable, the briefcase alone didn't supply access to this gang of bird mascots. You got no business here, partner. I committed countless dumbass acts, such as the mistake of leaving the briefcase full of diamonds in an alley while I did parkour. This allowed for a cop to confiscate it. The gang doesn't respect you either without the briefcase. What in hell do y'all think you're doing? Get back to your post, dumbass. Need both that and the outfit to sneak in to punch the guard and peck the leader ashamed of wearing his beak. Cartoonish antics continued as a piano lands on a lady penguin, ending with stopping this final bird from not voting for the politician in the parade. That performance earned me a contract killer rating. I did my job with no side quest kills. Next, you'll be attending a Christmas party. Oh, wait, oh. 
Yeah, I'm the fucking straight for you to just drive that motherfucker with one arm. Have you seen Hitman without a shirt? Or, am I nope. stuck? I'm fucking oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry about leaving bodies out to be found. Somebody will bag them up for you. Think that grave digger with a full body rotation. My only other tip is that the top of elevators make for solid bunkers. Anyways, the objective here is to kill this hot tub occupant. The spa hanging off a mountain has a glass floor. Break it to create a whirlpool so mighty as the suction is sucking those out of the water. Proceeding that, Hugh Hefner has to get whacked. His yappy dog is an optional hit for 50k. For the third task, I had to Google where to locate the videotape that needed to be stolen. Finally, I was ready to psychopath every edgy lord's dream. Venturing out to sea, a ship captain would put anything in his mouth and his six seamen gotta be eliminated. Among those two guys plugged was one of them. Number two just prematurely ejaculated and was in his room reflecting on it. Go back to back with them, you'll both feel better. The other four are hanging out on the top deck. Last step is to discover the rare, not totally ripped Hitman character models and extinct it. Also give this fucking guy a beating for showering in his underwear. Personal beasts aside, this safe contains documents required to complete the mission. You don't have to blow it up to access what's inside. However, you can't stand in front of the door, otherwise it won't open. Doing these crimes morphed me into a madman. Now we're going down to a swamp in Louisiana for a redneck wedding. At it, I met the probably racist Terminator. Impervious to bullets, he'll walk straight into gunfire, yet his weakness is strangulation. Here I did all types of shit. I fed the gators, made out with a presumably incest couple who I tipped with a coin, uh, punished the groom for putting his finger in the wedding cake, and hunted more of that endangered fat ass species. This was very loose cannon of me. Really, this alleyway is the spot to be. Have everybody come to you and rack up 75 dead. Alright, are you still with me? If so, type up a comment about how you'd kill me to prove your loyalty. Would you do it in a casino? Because that's where we're at now. Begin by erasing this degenerate gambler in the green suit and blame it on the elevator. Anyone who doesn't believe you needs to be sacrificed to the elevator. No clue who this old fella is, but he dies too. To objectify your final target, first go to your hotel room shower and stash all your weapons ranging from guns, bombs, syringes, even guns stuck together. This is done in order to get into the VIP section where you'll take the loud road anyways, so what's the point? Presenting myself as a killer again. Bear with me, we're almost to the end. Let's get through this underworld sex club. Wait backstage for Titty McGee from Roger Rabbit. Careful, she'll pull a desert eagle out those tits. Clonk that bitch's noggin and bathe her to death. Oh great, always with the elevator choke this guy. Use it to cancel this Japanese game show host. Steal his look along with the file containing Agent 47's internet search history. Then blaze an angel. Supposed to do the same to the devil. If you get too close, he'll challenge you to a duel with boss fight disadvantages. We both killed each other. To bypass this bullshit, I simply shot him from afar. Declared an armed madman for these actions. Hitman's culmination happens at the White House. My health and weapons are upgraded to the max. I'm here to kill a generic vice president. And according to the fandom, an albino clone. You're the famous Mark Parchesi the third. He lures you into another boss fight that can be dealt with from afar. There it is, the mostly psychopath playthrough of Hitman Blood Money that nobody asked for. Done on expert, if you were to ask, but you weren't, so this is over. 